The Eminent Advisory Committee meeting with the Electoral Commission and the Inter-Party Advisory Committee, IPAC, on the compilation of new voters' register ended inconclusive. Now, parties involved maintain their position with the NDC-led Inter-Party resistance against the new voter register, insisting it will go ahead on its series of demonstrations. Godfrey Tanam has the rest of the story. For almost six hours, the Eminent Advisory Committee, the Inter-Party Advisory Committee, the Electoral Commission and some civil society organizations were locked up in a meeting on the disagreement over the compilation of a new voters register for the December 7 polls. Participants were given the opportunity to make presentations on their positions after the Electoral Commission, through a presentation, justified this reason to compile the new voters register. Some representatives after the meeting raised some concerns. The uh, committee of eminent persons afforded opportunity for all political parties to be heard. They made a presentation. There was only one snack. Independent presidential candidate of a previous election who in our opinion did not have any status as far as IPAC is concerned was allowed to make a presentation while civil society organizations which have always played a very important role in our electoral reform were denied opportunity to make a presentation that one we think uh, uh, is, is, is very irregular the Electoral Commission did their presentation, both technical and financial reasons, uh, presentation. At the end of the day, what has come to light is that none of the issues that were raised spoke against the data of the Electoral Commission. So as far as we are concerned, all the other things that the Electoral Commission want to do can be done without compiling a new data. That's because we ask the Electoral Commission technical person whether the data is credible or not credible. And you could not tell us that the data is not credible because the Electoral Commission has conducted elections with this data as, as late as uh, December last year. And for that matter, we believe that all the other things that they want to do can be done without necessarily going back to touch the data through a new registration. Leader of the All People's Congress, APC, Hassan Ayarga, insisted the parties against the voters' register will continue with these demonstrations. We'll go on the floor. Why are you doing that? You because because I, I, we, they don't have a proper reason. You cannot. You have to convince people that, yes, of course, the new voter register is not credible. The national chairman of the People's National Convention, Bernard Mona, says the EC's timing for the processes leading to the elections is dangerous. If you tell people that your register will be compiled and available on the 8th of November and you are a participant in elections, what it means is that you are taking more than enough risk because 8th November to 7th December is just one month. So if there is any hitch, what are you going to do? Deputy Minister for Local Government and Rural Development, Obi Amwan, disagrees. Then the CI says that Within 21 days of completing the exercise, the parties will have the register. Now, we are going to make sure that they comply with what is in the CI. We are not going to say that they can give us any date. We want to make sure that the date they will give us complies with what is in the register, uh, in the CI. Are we okay with that? Communication director of the NPP, Boabian Samoa, said the NPP has always maintained this position. At this point in time, it's about a number of political parties not wanting the register, which is the impression that which is the impression that the NDC has created. That the NDC and the coalition of political parties do not want the register. If that is the question we are answering, that today the question has been answered effectively and affirmatively yes for a new register because 10 political parties said they wanted a new register. According to the 2016 independent presidential candidate Joseph Oseyabua, the aim of the opposition parties is to cause trouble. We are represented at IPAC as independent candidate association that I led. Okay? That was the hope. We've been part of IPAC meeting. We speak, we've been contributing. 
And so when the issue was raised over here, that was another form of distraction. So everything, the strategy that they brought here was just to distract. The Eminent Advisory Committee, uh, the Electoral Commission and the Interparty Advisory Committee, uh, from all indication, uh, there have not been a consensus as to whether the Electoral Commission to go ahead to compile a new voter register. But the Eminent Advisory Committee will be uh, presenting the advice uh, after the meeting to the Electoral Commission uh, in deciding or telling them exactly what they believe should be done. From the uh, Coconut Grove Hotel here in Accra, Godfrey Tanam for TV3 News. Let's also say a bit further on this. Lawyer Godwin Adawini is a private legal practitioner. He joins me on the telephone. Lawyer, thank you for your time. Good evening to you. Now, if you look at the posture prior to this meeting, definitely we'll conclude that there was never going to be a consensus, and that's what happened. So wh wh what do we do about this going forward? Hello, lawyer, can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me now? I can hear you, please. Great. Thank you so much for your time uh, this evening. I was asking that this meeting uh, ended without a consensus. So what do we do? What's the way out going forward? Going forward, what I think is needed is, uh, is that there's a need for a serious mediation between the parties. What is clear is that the parties are taking entrenched positions, which are making it difficult for them on their own to reach a consensus on the issue. In this respect, we need a third party that both parties trust and can have confidence in to mediate between them. Okay. And in talking about this third party, who can this third party be looking at these and trend positions that have been taking over the period? Well, that is a difficult question for me to answer. But by way of theorizing how to go forward, what I can say is that we need a serious mediation between the parties. Because left today themselves will never go anywhere. And that's why the Electoral Commission, in its wisdom, put together this uh, eminent persons to form a committee. And they were the ones who actually, you know, reached out to these two groups. I mean, the uh, resistance group, the EC, and then the other parties that support the new register for today's meeting. And that did not also help. So how are we going to get out of this conundrum? So what it means then is that we have to start thinking about another group that the parties concerned can trust. Because if this body of eminent citizens have not been able to get the parties to shift their positions, it means that that group too has failed, in a sense. But it doesn't mean that we should stop exploring the feasibility of a mediation. Because what we still need now is a mediation. Otherwise, there will be no solution to the problem. Now, let's look at the Electoral Commission's uh, posture as against that of the resistance uh, group as well. I mean, they see as yes. an independent body has indicated that this is what it's going to do and there is really no turning back. Is this going to help if there has to be a mediation? Well, from where I stand and then uh, my understanding of the issues, the interparty resistance against the voters' register compilation are not saying that the Electoral Commission doesn't have the mandate to compile a voters' register. Neither are they saying that the Commission is not legally independent. But what they are saying, from my understanding, is that <laughs> the Commission has no good reasons for seeking to do what it wants to do. Mm -hmm. And to me, that is the point. And the Commission, it appears, has not been able to convince them that it really has a good reason for right. seeking to compile a new voters register. 
And I think that the mediation should be able to identify the fears of the the groups against the compilation of the new register. And then from there, can be able to fashion out the modalities for reaching a consensus on the matter. Right. It appears to me that the group against the voters register now has information that questions the credibility of the Electoral Commission. And I think whoever is mediating between the parties should have the confidence of this group to provide the information that it has and then see how it can use that information to conduct the mediation. Right. But if we formulate the issue as a legal issue, we will not go anywhere because I do not think it is a legal issue about whether or not under the law the Electoral the Commission, Commission has power to compile the voters' register. To me, it is more of a political issue. Right. So we need serious political mediation to resolve the crisis. Lawyer, I want to thank you so much for your time this evening and for your thoughts in this. Extremely grateful. Lawyer Godwin Adamwene is a senior lecturer at the University of Ghana. Uh, uh, that's University of Professional Studies here in Accra, a senior law lecturer for that matter.